looking over this bio, the first question that pops to my mind is, what the hell have I been doing? How does it feel? Does it feel like you've done that much? Uh, when I hear it coming back? <laughs> um, yeah, because, it, you know, each thing that is mentioned uh, jogs uh, your memory on how it came about and what the process was, what you were doing and the relationships and everything. So it's, it's, it's a, a memory rush every time I hear one of those things. So how do you keep a big old giant grin off your face? Think oh, I think I had one. <laughs> well, I, thought, I, I mean, said I, I saw one today. So. Yeah, I should have. I mean, normally I'm not a real smiling sort of guy, or talking for that matter. But um, yeah, it, it was overwhelming. Would you say that was an incredible, fertile period of time for music? Uh, yeah, but you, you know, you. It's wrong to think that it's not fertile now because the people that are involved in the music now, in the music industry now, I'm sure they're going through a lot of the things that we went through. And there, you know, there's a lot of product. There's a lot more product. I'm sure it's fertile. It, it's in a different way. You know, it's uh, a different mode of producing and um, a lot of little studios and big studios and people's houses. So you don't get that sort of mix in the studio where you walk out of one studio and. You see Phil Spector cutting He's a Rebel and Snuff Garrett's cutting it in the other studio. You know, there's a lot of that that doesn't happen. So. Did it ever occur to you at any point in, in this incredible parade of exciting stuff that you were a part of, did it ever dawn on you, did you ever stop and just slap your, your hand to your forehead and say, wow, we're, well. there's a... I'm attached to a rocket. Yeah, I, I, I don't think you do that when you're involved. I don't think you have the... Um, first of all, I didn't have the time to stop. <laughs> it doesn't sound so, like it. Yeah. But um, you, you, you're so in it. You're not, you're not even close to it. You're in it that uh, you don't step back and take that kind of look at it. When did it dawn on you? Today. Oh. Yeah. How does it feel? Oh, it feels great. I mean, it really feels, you know, what makes it, um, makes you understand it is when your kids ask certain questions about it, you know, and you realize that you're uh, talking, to, I have a five-year-old and a seven-year-old, and uh, they listen to some of the things that I've done, and, um, and they hear about things that I've done, and uh, it, it uh, you get the feeling that you've done some, something lasting, and uh, that's that's more important than how big it is, and the fact that it lasts you know, to me. It does help sometimes to see it through someone else's eyes. Yeah, exactly. Like yeah, exactly. Yeah. Especially a child's eyes. See it a whole new perspective, I should think. Has there ever been a group or an act or an individual who you wish you could have produced? And maybe through circumstance, didn't happen. Um, not that I can think of. I, I'm quite satisfied with the people that I produced, and uh, I don't have to look any further for you know great talent, great songwriters, great singers, great uh, and personal friends. You know, uh, the other thing that's different about the industry today, a lot of. The CDs that are produced might have eight or nine producers. You know, they come in, they do one track, they do maybe do it at home, maybe do it in the studio. There's not those kinds of living with the act that uh, was more prevalent in those days, in the, in the 60s and 70s, where you did the whole album. Uh, in my case, I managed the act. They were on my label. Um, it was really, uh, it, was, it was life, you know, not just making a, a record. That would really aid in continuity, I should think. On this album or CD, as it, I, I think it does. I mean, I listen to a lot of CDs that are done by more than one producer, and even though the engineer is trying to make everything sound alike uh, when he does the mixes, the continuity isn't quite as good as it could be. Is there a, a particular project, although looking again at the bio, I can't even imagine being able to come up with a favorite, but is there one that stands out in your mind as um, a watermark event? Well, I guess the Monterey Pop Festival because of um, uh, 
being somewhat historic and also so encompassing at the time and involving so many so many acts and touching all those acts in one way or another um, and the music that came out of it I guess that would fall into that category. Is there anyone today that you would like to produce? I'm producing kids. That's my job. Well, it certainly looks that way. Yeah, that's my job. Very fine job. Once Thank again, you. very prolific. Thank you. Um, I'd just like to congratulate you on your induction. Thank you very much. Um, and thank you for, as a, a former disc jockey myself, who got the privilege of playing an awful lot of your stuff. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for playing it, too. Yeah, well, no, thank you for producing it. Thanks. Okay.